get right back to tonight's primary coverage and a very tight Democratic primary in the race for Broward County Sheriff. It's current Sheriff Gregory Tony declaring victory over former Sheriff Scott Israel, who was removed from office last year. Former BSO Colonel Al Pollock placed third in the race. The other candidates all placed in the single digits. On the Republican side, H. Wayne Clark is the runaway winner and moves on to the general election. CBS 4's Joan Murray is covering the race for sheriff. She is live at BSO headquarters tonight. Joan? And Elliot, as everyone knows, Broward Sheriff races can be down and dirty. This one was no exception, but tonight the man in the job is declaring himself the winner. He has just one more minor hurdle to clear in November. In the hotly contested Democratic sheriff's race, Gregory Tony narrowly pulled off a victory, releasing a statement which reads in part, I am deeply honored Democratic voters have chosen me to lead the borough sheriff's office into a brighter, safer future. Together, we're reforming the sheriff's office, promoting good deputies, and keeping our community safer by embracing police reform. As your sheriff, I will work tirelessly to make this department a model for how a public safety agency can be effective, transparent, and accountable to our community. This county understands that we could undo this injustice by reclaiming the vote that was stolen from the, you know, the Broward County citizen. Tony's main rival, Scott Israel, who was Broward Sheriff six years until he was removed for his handling of the airport shooting and Stoneman Douglas massacre, told me it was a tough loss. I want the people to know that I've absolutely poured my heart and soul into being the, the sheriff of Broward County, and I fought hard to protect the rights of uh, one in Broward County. Retired BSO Colonel Al Pollock, who finished third in the primary, says Sheriff Tony has some bridge building to do. You're going to have to gain the trust of the employees and the people out in the community. That's number one. I mean, if the employees believe in you, they're going to work hard for you moving forward. Sheriff Tony will face H. Wayne Clark in November. He won the Republican primary. And a major upset in the Broward State Attorney's race with Harold Pryor winning that primary on the Democratic side. Joe Kimmick, who had a lot of money support, including financial support from George Soros came in second. Sarah Nell Murphy, who was outgoing state attorney Mike Satz's choice, came in third. So a big upset in the state attorney's race. Harold Pryor winning that. He will face Greg Rossman on the Republican side in November. Reporting near Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News tonight.